Today, we're heading into North Korea. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. We're going to the DMZ, which is the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. We are doing a tour today. We got her name here. If you're coming on a tour, highly recommend Julie. And Julie Guru. She's been awesome with Seoul City Tours. We typically book through Viator, but today we booked through Kluke because Viator's all had kind of bad reviews. We're here for about eight hours. We're gonna be exploring lots of different areas, eventually making our way to the third tunnel. And we're gonna be bringing you guys with us. So let's go. When we go inside the DMZ, military man will get on the bus, rear name, and rear date of birth. Okay, thank you. So when I get to the borderline area, we stop by at the ticket booth, so Imjingak Park Army get your passport. And after that, uh, we go to Dorasan Mountain Observatory. So you will see North Korea scenery at there. <laughs> Our first stop of the day is here at Imjin Gak Park. So it's kind of where you have to get tickets in order to go into the DMZ, which is the military zone. Yeah, it's basically a Looks like a giant rest stop. There is a really creepy like amusement park over there and it says they have a DMZ open festival as well. So not sure what those are, but uh, we're gonna go check out the inside. You can also see all the tour buses lined up over here. That is how busy it is today. And it's about 10 a.m. So we'll see how the day goes. We have about 20 minutes before we need to meet up with our tour guide and explore our first stop here. They have some snacks, bathroom break, and we got bungopang, which is like classic best Korean ice cream, and a North Korean beer. Uh, so kind of crazy. We're gonna save it for later because I think we wanna be super alert for this tour. We explored for a bit and we got to see a lot of really cool memorabilia and structures that were put in place to honor and remember kind of what has happened and the people who have sacrificed to make South Korea what it is today. There's also a freedom bridge up there where Julie, our tour guide, and Julie Guru told us how during the Korean War there were prisoners of war. The ones that were stuck in North Korea were released and they came over that bridge back into South Korea. So so it was really surreal like walking over that. And you can also see all of these banners and strips of paper that people have written on to their family or separated ones in North Korea. So even just seeing those banners and thinking about my grandma who actually made the journey from North to South before it split into North and South Korea and knowing that she left her parents and my great grandparents passed away on the north side of Korea is just crazy. I will say it was a bit like emotional for yep. me. Just like the stories they were telling about like the comfort women, just knowing that was my grandma's or she was like that age at that time. So there's like stories of my grandma like dressing like an old lady so that she wouldn't get taken. So just like hitting home a lot today, which I didn't think it would, <laughs> but it's been a really good tour really informational and yeah we have a lot more stops to see but we did stop somewhere here there's a little shop like up on the hill and you can actually buy north korean stamps and money so we got some stamps and some bills from north korea so pretty crazy if you ask me <laughs> we don't typically get souvenirs but uh we figured if we're here why not I was looking for you. We said meet you at the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <gone> today. <laughs> so I came to bus. I don't want to miss the bus here. <laughs> so she was going to leave us. <laughs> uh, yeah. We just got done with our second stop, which was the third tunnel that North Korea built to kind of sneak into South Korea. Yeah. Although it was really, really cool to see, it's about 400 meters and it's super, super steep and you have to come back up 
if you want to get out. Mom, how was the hike? You're not allowed to bring anything in with you, so you have to put everything into these lockers. So we can't give you guys any footage, but we can tell you it's all hand dug, so it's very chiseled and choppy. They do give you yellow helmets also to wear, and it's very, very steep, if I didn't say that yet. We're going to go cool down, stop by the souvenir shop quick, and uh, get some cold drinks, and then go see where our third stop is. And just to note, if you're really tall, I hit my head like twice on the cave, so make sure you duck. Stop number three is Dora Observatory, where they have this entire observation lookout area where you can actually look into North Korea, which is absolutely crazy. It's pretty busy, but you're able to see the North Korean flag, which is apparently the tallest in the world, their fake propaganda city, and then a real city, which is right a little ways behind the flag, and it's apparently the third largest in North Korea, which it's pretty wild. We also saw some people over there, really, really small though, because the telescopes aren't super great, but insane. <laughs> it's just wild thinking that that's North Korea right over there. come bring a good lens because I'm sure you could get way better footage than we did. Our last stop of the day is inside the village located inside the DMZ zone. They have a specialty here which is soybean ice cream and a soybean latte. It's really special because they grow the soybeans here in the DMZ zone. So we're trying both. They're actually really really good. They taste like peanut butter. After taking the one hour bus back into Seoul, I just wanted to come on and say that it was a really good tour. It was pretty emotional for me at the beginning. I feel really good about what we saw today and what we learned and I would highly recommend anyone coming to South Korea to put this at the top of your list. And yeah, just thanks for watching and now we're gonna go to Myeongdong and have some really good food because you haven't eaten yet today. Bye. <laughs> I <laughs> want <laughs> Did you find some brochures? <laughs> it's good to have. <laughs>